each hair holds a story? Does it? Oh, that's right. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 non-Disney animated movies that deserved an Oscar. Pay careful attention to everything you see and hear, no matter how unusual it may seem. <gasps> we climb mountains and see giants, meet witches who cast spells, find mermaids and sulkies even. <laughs> Love, you and your fanciful stories. Life here is amazing, just not for the faint of heart. For this list, we'll be looking at those animated films produced outside Disney or Pixar that deserve serious awards recognition of their own. What's the best non-Disney Western animated movie of all time? Let us know in the comments! Number 10. Wolfwalkers Tom Moore is a name worth remembering when it comes to Western animation. Ha! A little girl like you! Well, you're a girl too! I'm no girl! I'm Wolfwalker! Ah! 2020's Wolfwalker serves as a shining example of Moore's work, highlighting the filmmaker's Celtic influences and penchant for philosophically complex stories. The movie centers around the friendship between Robin, the defiant daughter of a hunter, and Meb, a fiery wolfwalker. Stay here in the forest. It's great. Loads of running, playing, eating, messing, climbing. Free. Boasting painting-esque animation and a stirring soundtrack, Wolfwalkers matches a socially relevant tale of prejudice, fear, and alienation with whimsy, humor, and charm. I fixed you and your bird and saved your life. You're welcome, Tony. While Wolfwalkers was nominated for Best Animated Feature, it ultimately lost out to Pixar's Soul. Number 9. Kubo and the Two Strings 2016 was a ridiculously strong year for animation, and Leica's feature was perhaps the pick of the bunch. They're going to be throwing money at you, I just know it. Well, they'll throw something at you, I don't know. Set in feudal Japan, Kubo and the Two Strings tells the riveting tale of a young child who goes on an extraordinary journey filled with peril, heart, and sharp writing. And we've been looking for you for so long. It's so lovely to meet you, Kubo. Face to face. Kubo, which was influenced by Japanese cinema, matches a magnificent story with impeccable production values, both in its visuals and music. It manages to be a sweeping adventure capable of mesmerizing children and a riveting character-driven piece that will keep adults glued to the screen. Everything you loved is gone! Everything you knew has been taken from you! No! It's in my memories! The most powerful kind of magic there is. There is very little separating 2016's winner Zootopia and Kubo. Number 8. The Iron Giant Brad Bird has a few Oscars to his name, but The Iron Giant came out during a time when animation was treated as an afterthought by the Academy. Look, it's really none of my business, kid, but um, who cares what these creeps think, you know? The movie is set in 1957 and focuses on a young boy's friendship with a massive alien robot. Though the eponymous Iron Giant has the potential to be a weapon, he chooses not to, adding an unexpected layer to the story. You are who you choose to be. Superman. Extremely well written, the Iron Giant tackles timeless themes such as death and personal agency with grace, intelligence, and conviction. The Iron Giant's animation and voice acting are both spectacular, as are its direction, music, and characters. And that means you have a soul, and souls don't die. Soul. Mom says it's something inside of all good things, and that it goes on forever and ever. Number 7. Coraline Anyone who thinks animated films can't be terrifying has clearly never seen this modern stop-motion masterpiece. She said that she loved us, but she locked us here and ate up our lives. An adaptation of a novella by Neil Gaiman, Coraline follows the titular girl as she moves to a new home, meets some quirky neighbors, and follows a strange mouse into the seemingly perfect other world. Filled with creepy and creative imagery, Coraline is an imaginative tour de force that expertly builds suspense through its environmental storytelling and character work. Why don't we play a game? 
I know you like them. Everybody likes games. It also features one of the scariest villains in cinema. All of these elements add up to make Coraline a dark fairy tale of impeccable quality. Pixar's up one Best Animated Feature at the 2010 Academy Awards, but Coraline would have also been a worthy winner. They say even the proudest spirit can be broken with love. Number 6. Klaus For its first original animated feature, Netflix did pretty well for itself. What are they doing here? Well, they were the ones who alerted me to what you've accomplished here. We couldn't let such a feat go unrewarded. Klaus presents a very different take on the Santa Claus myth, converting good old Saint Nick into an isolated woodsman with a tragic backstory and a big heart. Delivering these toys, seeing the joy they bring to children, I thought I'd never feel this again. And I have you to thank for it, my friend. Mostly set in the chaotic Smearinsburg, Klaus revolves around a postman's attempts to convince a town to stop fighting and start sending letters. Jesper's mission involves a lot of children, a few sled rides, and a ton of character growth. A true act of goodwill always sparks another. Beautifully animated and emotionally captivating, Klaus arguably deserved to win Best Animated Feature over the weakest entry of the Toy Story franchise. Number 5. The Prince of Egypt Before the introduction of the Best Animated Feature category, animated flicks were largely ignored by the Academy outside of their soundtracks. And The Prince of Egypt did indeed win an Oscar for Best Original Song. However, DreamWorks' film deserved to be celebrated for its stunning traditional animation, some of the best to ever grace cinema. Gleaming in the moonlight, cool and clean and all I've ever known, all I ever wanted. Despite its shorter runtime, The Prince of Egypt is just as epic of an event as something like The Ten Commandments, a film that covers similar biblical ground. The Prince of Egypt might have one best animated feature if it was a thing in 1998. Take the staff in your hand, Moses. With it, you shall do my wonders. Number 4. How to Train Your Dragon 2 The fact DreamWorks' fantastic trilogy never took home an Oscar feels wrong. This is Burke. The best kept secret this side of, well, Anywhere. The first How to Train Your Dragon missing out to Toy Story 3 is an easy enough pill to swallow, but the sequel losing to Big Hero 6 is considerably harder to fathom. Tackling themes of war and death, How to Train Your Dragon 2 continues Hiccup and Toothless's journey towards adulthood, serving as an exciting coming-of-age story that delivers thrills and tears in abundance. You have the heart of a chief and the soul of a dragon. Only you can bring our worlds together. That is who you are, son. The stunning artwork of this film puts it on another level visually as well. How to Train Your Dragon 2 is arguably the strongest entry in one of animation's best trilogies, and it deserved an Oscar. We may be small in numbers, but we stand for something bigger than anything the world can pit against us. We are the voice of peace, and bit by bit, we will change this world. Number 3. Song of the Sea Another movie directed by Tom Moore, Song of the Sea teleports you to an Irish seaside soaked in mysticism and magic. Between the Touching upon many folklore tales, Song of the Sea is a coming-of-age road trip movie that happens to feature an owl witch, fairies, and a giant. Despite its many fantastical elements, at its heart, this is a deeply human film about family, grief, and love. These themes are all explored through the core relationship between a brother and sister. It's not your fault. It never was. I 
should have been a better brother to you. Big Hero 6 was just one of many great superhero films released during the 2010s. On the other hand, there is nothing else quite like Song of the Sea. <laughs> Lovely job, Massey! Do you hear the lads cheering you there? Number 2. Persepolis this adaptation of Marjan Satrapi's graphic novel of the same name recounts its creator's life growing up in Iran and later in Vienna. I led an uneventful, peaceful existence back then. The life of an average little girl. I loved eating french fries with ketchup. Bruce Lee was my idol. I wore Adidas sneakers and had two major obsessions. Being able to shave my legs one day and becoming the last prophet in the galaxy. Utilizing primarily simplistic black and white animation, Persepolis gives a snapshot into an aspect of history and the world seldom showcased in cinema, particularly animation. As it chronicles the fall of the Shah and Iran's metamorphosis over the subsequent years, Persepolis touches lightly upon politics but keeps its attention squarely on the personal tale of its likable lead. Mind telling us why you're running, sister? Because I'm late. I have class in five minutes. But you can't run like that, miss. When you run, your, uh, your rear end jiggles. It's what you call immodest. Well, then stop staring at my butt! Gripping, funny, and occasionally harrowing, Persepolis is unforgettable, extraordinary, and a must-watch movie, regardless of whether someone enjoys animation or not. If someone hurts you, just tell yourself it's due to their lack of intelligence. That way you'll never sink down to their level. Because there's nothing worse in this world than bitterness and revenge. Never lose sight of your dignity. Always stay true to yourself. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Mary and Max. Because this movie is disarming in the best possible way. Now we don't get to choose our warts. They are a part of us and we have to live with them. We can, however, choose our friends. And I am glad I have chosen you. My life as a zucchini, because tears will be had. It's just like There's no one for me. Loving Vincent, because its visuals alone are worth the price of admission. For myself, I declare I don't know anything about it. But the sight of the stars always makes me dream. Why, I say to myself, should the spots of light in the firmament be inaccessible to us? Sita sings the blues, because this film has so much personality. But it was almost like she's trying to glorify Ram through this whole process, you know, like like my man will come and he is a, he's capable of this and he is virtuous and he will kill Ravan. And... So, so there's anyway, a bloodthirsty would... woman. Fantastic Mr. Fox, because Wes Anderson and Roald Dahl are a match made in film heaven. You really are kind of a quote unquote fantastic Fox. I try. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Lego Movie Forget an Oscar win, The Lego Movie should have been at least nominated for something more than just Best Original Song. Oh my gosh, I love this song! Everything is awesome. Everything is cool. Defying all expectations that it would be a feature-length ad, The Lego Movie is shockingly smart, hilarious, and gorgeous. Right from the second Emmett erupts into the ridiculously catchy Everything is Awesome sing-along, the Lego movie confirms that it's something special. And the film only gets better from there. Would you please tell me what is happening? I'm rescuing you, sir. You're the one the prophecy spoke of. You're the special. Me? Packed with all of the references in the world, the Lego movie serves both as a loving tribute to cinema and a satire of blockbusters, all the while telling a story filled with endearing characters and emotional depth. It's about all of us. Right now, it's about you. And you... still... can change everything. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.